Hey y'all, welcome to Art of the Budget. My name is Nicole. My pronouns are she and her, and I live in the Pacific Northwest on the traditional territory of the Coast Salish nations, and my hair is wild today. Okay, that's cool. Um, uh, it's the freaking weekend, so it's time to check in on our budget together. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning, I appreciate you being part of this accountability process with me. And if you enjoy this video, I would love it if you like it. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe. And really quick, I just have a question for folks who maybe do check out these budget um, check-ins. I do these every week and uh, they're really useful for me, but I'm wondering if there's any other content you would like to see or like me to expand upon. I know I've been doing my intro to investing. I've been doing some grocery challenge type stuff and of course these budget videos. Um, so yeah, is there anything else along those lines that you'd be interested in or that you enjoy? Let me know. Um, let's go ahead and get into the budget. I hope your February is going well. We are closing in on my birthday week, which I'm very excited about. Um, I think I'm going to ask on my social medias if folks have pics of us um, in the past uh, to maybe just share a memory with me because, uh, you know, it's been a hard year. I, I'm, I am across the country from the place that I'm from and haven't gotten to see many people in general. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm like, I'm like excited for a trip down memory lane next week. Um, but anyway, let's get into these transactions. I think I've got them all. Um, I went through my transactions, but I'm kind of right now in the middle of shifting my bank over. So, uh, from my cool, amazing app, simple, which is going away to, uh, capital one 360, which I don't know if they're still doing it, but there's a special now where if you change your direct deposit over, you get $400. So uh, I don't know if that's got the bank I'm going to stay with for the rest of my life, but it does do all the things that I need and loved about Simple to some extent. So we're going to try it. Um, okay, so I did some grocery shopping um, and I also got uh, two giant boxes of litter. So I spent at Fred Meyer $79.03 and go down to groceries. Where are you? Um, and I think I split that up that uh, about 40 of it, um, not down to the penny, but about 40 of it was for um, the kittles for the litter. And, and the rest was groceries. I'm going to say that I have been having a very, it's almost like the fallout of my very structured grocery uh, month in January was me having a very chaotic grocery week in February. So uh, I'm going to try to um, batten down the hatches and get a little bit more on task for this last week, um, which is probably good because I think we're about to see that I am out of budget. Um, yeah, 238 remaining and I know I have another uh, transaction down here. Oh, actually, I'm going to delete this one that says $2. That was my placeholder for the, the transaction I just um, reconciled. Okay, so I did stop at, I did do some cat medicine stuff, which is going to go down here in cat health. I'm really hoping this will work out. Next month, I will have a good amount to dump in this category. Um, but I got some club pitagrel for my cat for blood clots, $12.45. Uh, and I got uh, several medications uh, for his heart and his, uh, what is it called? His thyroid. And that was 86.44. And I thought I got one more medication for Violet. Maybe that was on the last week. I'll double check and throw it on next week if I need to. Um, I had some of my, oh, while we're down here, do I have some travel money? I don't. But my Alaska Airline uh, fee came out. So just in case you're not aware, I use Alaska Airline, an Alaska Airline card through Bank of America. It's $75 a month. And in a typical year, I typically will go to my yearly ceramics field conference and to see my like family and friends. Um, and so 
this gives you a free checked bag and it's so it, it more than pays for itself in a year um it also you know came with a sign on bonus and it comes with a buddy pass although i actually have a really hard time using that because i am a single individual who lives across the country from all of my like oldest friends so um, I haven't gotten like the most bang for my buck, but honestly, it has more than paid for itself and, um, it's really worth it. Obviously 2020 and into 2021 is different. I decided I'm going to go ahead and pay it. And if, um, you know, if we're not able to travel in a year, then I, I might just consider closing or, um, change or, uh, downgrading this card if that's an option for it. Um, but for now I'm going to take, take the charge. So I'm going to put that into travel. I did this have this spelled out on my calendar for myself. Um, so I think I had it in my original budget, but then when I realized that I was a month ahead and so I had to adjust for that, I think it, it didn't come out in the wash. So I will adjust for it at the end. Um, anything else that goes down there? Okay, I'm gonna go back up to groceries. I did hit the grocery store when I got Junior's Medicine and I really got a bunch of random stuff. I think I was just really hungry and uh, I spent 14 at 60. I got like liverwurst, uh, some kefir yogurt, drinkable yogurt, and um, some like bananas or something. And I got some like, uh, from the deli, some chicken to eat then, because like I said, I was starving. It was a very weird grocery trip. Um, the internet came out, that was $80. Uh, my crafting the future donation, which is restarted. I, I had changed fiscal sponsors and I hadn't switched over for a couple months, but we're back on and that's $25. And I got paycheck one. Yeah, I got paycheck one, so that's going to go into next month. That was 2116.81. So I have gotten a raise since, uh, like a cost of living raise, since the last time I got like a full, well, it's not really full, but like, yeah, I guess it is full with, with my adjunct pay. So not full, but with that additional pay, um, I have gotten a small raise. I forgot to, to re-up my FSA this year, my flexible spending account, so that's not coming out. I have upped my um, pre-tax uh, contribution to my um, deferred compensation or my 457B. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And so it's a little bit different than the number last year, which is fine. Um, I'm going to try to put a little bit of that towards my medical fund since I don't have my FSA this year. Whoops. <laughs> don't, don't forget, health insurance, if you do nothing, it just re-ups with what you had. But FSA, you have to actually opt in. And I did not do that. Um, and then I've got these two transactions that are just hanging out here. I have not figured out what the $6 is for. I'm sure it will just come to me, but I'm just going to leave it here until I do. And then I've got this um, thing that I'm hoping one well, I should get reimbursed, but I haven't yet um, for something I accidentally paid for with my own card. Anyway, that's my week. Um, it was pretty chill. Uh, I hope you had a good week as well, and I will see you in the next video.